Hello! Hello, hello, hello. It's Lisa from Crafting and Cruising. By myself tonight. And tonight's just hang out with these big old glasses on my face. And just have fun. Because I got a lot to do when I go back in the house to get ready for our company coming. And a lot to do tomorrow. I see some thumbs up and some hearts. Thank you so much. I don't see anybody on. So let me try to swipe. Swipe or no swiping. Oops, sorry, y'all. I came back and I still don't see who's on. Deborah Jed, howdy, 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 sis. How are you? Are you all ready? Is Lucy all ready? Ready, ready, ready. We're going to do something that probably isn't going to work. <laughs> I'm going to try to bleach a tree on a shirt, on a sweatshirt. Um, I tried to do one earlier because I had read mix 50% bleach and 50% water on a, like, army green shirt. It didn't work. Nope. So, this time I'm going to use straight bleach. Very well. Already. Good, good, good. Hey, girl. Hey, Brittany. How are you? My daughter's name is Brittany. She spells it just like you, minus one T. So, we're going to <clears throat> do two different things. First, we're going to walk over here, and I'm going to put the uh, bleach on. Now, do not look at this dirty, ridiculous, messy bus. Okay? Because it's awful. Awful. I tell you, awful. Let me lower you. Whoops. Lower you down. So, you can see what I did. So, I just took some... Um, greenery and cut it apart and laid it down it's not flat but i'm gonna weight it down after i spray and i'm just gonna spray randomly around it too so other places hopefully will get bleached i don't know you guys these are not laying flat so we'll see let's just go for it I'm just going to walk around different directions so I can make sure it all gets a good coat of bleach. But it may not work, and if so, no. No harm, no foul, right? I got the door open so it wouldn't smell too awful bad in here. Because I also was doing something else to show y'all. Whoops, that didn't work. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> but I'll try to get this down here. And then I'm going to weight it down. Bleach, bleach, bleach. <clears throat> it's almost like this bleach isn't really bleach. It says laundry bleach. Mm. I don't see anything happening. But I'm going to put something heavy on it to try to push those limbs down. I'll set this on it. To make it heavier. And then, I was doing something a while ago with peroxide. So, I'm going to lay that right there to make that part heavy. And, this bottle's pretty heavy. So, I think I'll sit it right there to hold those down. And, let's see. Let's put a thing of paint right here to maybe hold these leaves down. Maybe another one back here. I'm going to leave it overnight. If it works, I'll post a picture. So, okay. Hello. Hey, Carol Stinson. Hey, Veronica. Okay. So, that's a little experiment we're doing in my filthy, dirty bus. That's my project for tomorrow before my Brittany and her family get here. Let's get this bus cleaned up. So, in the meantime, I got these little metal bells. I don't even know where. I think maybe, maybe Michael's like this. And they really don't ring. And they've got this little plastic thing in here. So, I may, oh, it had a little thing on it. Eh, who does that bell? I don't love it. But I also have some of the bells that I 
made to look rusty the other night. Thank you, Veronica. I don't know if y'all saw me do that or not, but I'm going to show I'm going to show you how I did it again. If I can keep them up here long enough. I had them on this little stick because it's easier for me to paint them like that. Let's take them off all but one. And then what I've done on one of these is I've already um, I mixed some paint, some dark paint. It's the same basic um, color that Kathy D does when she's trying to get her old world look. I mixed um, Worn Penny, I know it's backwards, with some black. And this is the color it made. So, I had to put two coats. I didn't base coat it. It already was base coated with this um, primer paint. But, um, I marked off some checks up here and some stripes down here. We literally are just doing this to have fun. This is probably not going to be used. Probably not going to be sold. Just having fun while we're hanging out. Thank you. They're big glasses, aren't they, Carol? So, now, what I'm going to do on these little ridges, I think, is do rub and buff on them. So, it will separate these um, checks that I'm doing right here. Um, where it's going to run into what I've already done. But when I go over it with rub and buff, it won't matter. Here's what I think is interesting. I'm going to show you all in a minute. So, I didn't put any kind of primer paint on here, okay? I did have to put two coats on this bottom part, okay? Look at what it does when I put the paint on it. It almost looks like it's got white added. Isn't that cray-cray? Don't ask me why. I don't know. So, if y'all didn't see my live earlier when I was talking while I was driving to the Wally World, Rodney got up this morning at 2.30 so that he could be at the airport to catch a 515 flight to DC because he had a job to do there and they really wanted him to come do it now before Christmas, okay? So he got up and last night when he was talking about it, he said, I'm not even gonna pack a bag. He said, because I'm just planning on going up and doing the job and coming right back. And I said, well, let me make a suggestion. Let me suggest that you do pack a bag. Here's another good thing about this paint. I can just wipe that off. Um, probably if I had put, like, um, chalk paint over it, it wouldn't be doing this. I said, um, instead of going just, you know, totally without a bag, why don't you take a carry-on so you don't have to claim luggage? But she's got to claim luggage anyway because he had to take his tools. Um, why don't you go on and just take a bag just in case. Because you know sometimes from up there flights get canceled and it's the holiday season. And so you don't want to be stuck without anything. He goes, nah, I'll be alright. I'm just going to do the job real quick and get back home. Okay, well I would advise you to at least take a pair of clean underwear and... Um, toothbrush and toothpaste, you know, just in case. And he said, yeah, that's probably a good idea. So he packed his toothbrush and toothpaste and a pair of clean underwear. Well, literally, I was about to get out of the bed when he called me. He'd already finished the job in D.C. And um, he said, I got, he said, you were right about something. There's a shock. It is pretty paint color, isn't it? It'll look better when it gets a second coat because this looks like a hot mess right now. He said, um, they called me from work and need me to go to um, North Carolina to do a job tomorrow. So, he said, I'm just going to fly from D.C. to North Carolina and get a hotel room and do that job tomorrow and then I'll fly home. I said, well, at least you have a clean pair of underwear. And toothbrush and toothpaste. Maybe next time you'll listen to your wifey. So I was dreading. I'm gonna paint this on top too, because we're gonna we're actually gonna go back over this with Mod Podge, and we're gonna try to make it look rusty. Um, I told whoever was on there today watching. I said I hate going to Walmart, especially at Christmas. But I've just gotten so. I know it's terrible. And I know the Bible says we're not supposed to have 
a spirit of fear. But I've gotten to the point, y'all, where I just don't feel comfortable going in places like that for a long period of time. And I had quite the list this morning before I left. And you know what I did? I got online before I left, and I ordered a lot of the stuff, candy and everything. Man, I know, Stephanie, um, from Amazon. I still bought $300 worth of groceries because I have to cook something for Christmas Eve Eve night. Then I have to cook something for Christmas Eve day at my sister-in-law's. I have to, um, I had to have food, you know, because uh, my daughter and her family are coming. Um, and then I had to have stuff for Christmas morning for breakfast. And then we're going to my sister's for an early dinner. And so I've got to fix stuff for that and didn't even get that stuff while I was out. I had gone to get my nails done and then went on to Wally World and, um, didn't even think to talk to my sister about what I needed to bring, um, until I was on my way home from Walmart and I thought that was about dumb. So I got in touch with her and asked her what I need to bring. So I got to go back out and get that. But a lot of what I was going to get today was going to be stuff for stockings. And, um, you know, I asked my children to tell me what kind of candies and snacks and stuff they like so that I can try to fill their stocking with some of that kind of stuff. And um, so, I mean, my list, I've made an Excel spreadsheet I showed earlier today of my list. I don't want to listen to a lot. That's right. Um, was quite the list, and um, then when I got to thinking about it, I thought, you know what, I will be in Walmart until late in the afternoon, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to stay that long. So, I just got on Amazon and ordered some things on Amazon, and then my one daughter in Lexington, the one that's coming tomorrow, <clears throat> for her candy, she wanted, um, Hershey Kiss Mint. Turns out they're mint truffle, I think is what they're called. Ooh, I'm, getting, I'm wiping it right back off of that thing I just did at the top. <laughs> um, I think it's called mint truffle. And, y'all, I went to three stores to try to find mint truffle Hershey Kisses. I finally found them at Walgreens. I couldn't believe they were that hard to find, but that's what she wanted. So, So her mama got them for her. So anyway, as I said this morning on my live, I, I have now realized that I probably spend almost as much. I don't spend as much, but it's not missing it by much on their stockings as I do on their presents every year. It's crazy. But I like, you know, little stuff that they want, like cuticle cream and nail files and things like that. I don't want to give that as a present. You know, I don't mind putting it in their stocking, but I don't want to give it as a present. Can y'all even see what I'm doing? Probably not. Sorry about that. Um, all I'm doing is checks, and like I said, I'm going to have to put two coats on because this white shows through. So, um, anyway, I've got to do a lot of cleaning tonight in the house, and then um, my other daughter, who's the spa manager, they're having a spa Christmas party tonight, so she's been in the kitchen all day and when I walked in from shopping I was like whoa where is my kitchen I think it I think she used every dish we had every pot and pan and you know all the eyes of the stove going and everything but I said are you preparing all of it and she said most of the big stuff I am so um and then she made homemade spice tea for her uh employees so that was sweet so, let me tilt it up while I, while I dry. So, what have y'all done today? Is everybody all wrapped? All the food purchased? Stocking stuff ready? Everybody's just all ready except Lisa. I'm, I really was kind of proud of myself that I got everything that I had on hand wrapped the other day. And most of the stocking stuff I have divided up into bags, so that's good because I can just go in and open each person's bag that's got a name on it and put in what candy they want. Of course, we still have little ones that, you know, believe. 
in need of good sandwich buns. Sandwich buns? You mean like hot dog or hamburger buns, Deborah? What kind of sandwich buns are you talking about, sis? Now, you'll see a big difference when I put this second coat on. Um, what kind of sandwich buns? I'm confused. Not hot dog or hamburger buns? I heard something the other day, y'all. Um, Kathy D. Damn it. Was talking about, um, a friend of hers lost her sister. And she had gone to the funeral home. And what did she call it? She didn't call it a wake she not visiting hours. She called it something I'd never heard it called. Yeah, but maybe from a bakery like hamburger buns. Ah, gotcha. Um, I'd never heard the term before, but it's, it's like, you know, going to visitation in, with the family or whatever before they actually have the funeral. So, um, I'm learning all kinds of words these days that I've never heard before. And I think it's interesting how just different parts of the country you know, refer to things like that differently. Like, what do y'all call it when you go to, like, to see somebody, you know, who's lost a family member and you're going to the funeral home, not for the actual funeral, but just to go? What do y'all, how do y'all refer to that? What's that called? Viewing? No, they're not prescription. Um, viewing, yeah, that, she didn't call it that, though. What did she call it? It was something so different. And I was like, I have never heard of that. And several people that were on that live said they'd never heard of it either. And then some other people that were on there said they had heard of it. So she lives in Ohio, so I don't know if it's a term they use more north. Um, because I hadn't, I had just never heard it. No, not awake. Thank you, Kim. No, it wasn't awake. It wasn't a visitation, which is what we call it down here. Like when they post it online or in the paper, they say, you know, visitation will be, you know, such and such day from this time to this time. And sometimes they'll say visitation will be again you know, on the day of the funeral, 30 minutes before, or an hour before the funeral starts. But this was a term I had never heard. And I thought, well, that is really interesting because I've never heard it called that. So I think once this gets dried and we try to patina it up a little bit and make it look rusty, I think it's going to be kind of cute. I, I, can, I got two of these and I can see them next year maybe hanging in a wreath on the door. Um, you could just hang them by themselves, but I'd probably use it outside, not inside. Um, it's too big to go on a tree, but you could put it on a wreath or put it on your door. And I'm sure not doing a, a great job of these checks, I tell you. That's what we say in Ohio, too. Celebra no, not a celebration of life. It was just a one-word term. Um, I've heard viewing. Of course, I've heard celebration of life. Celebration of life is usually the service itself. Um, but this was when you just go and visit the family um, at the at the funeral home. And I thought, well, that is really interesting that I've lived as long as I've lived, and I've never heard that term before. But like I said, I wasn't the only one that hadn't heard it. A lot of people that were on there had not apparently heard that either. And she said, that's just what I call it. So it just, it may be something that, you know, it is just for her. But some other people from Ohio said, yeah, that's what we say. So I'm having a hard time holding this so I won't rub paint everywhere. So, I've been listening to Christmas music when I've been driving around, just singing along with it, lost in my own little world. Love it. I'm going to really miss Christmas music when it goes away. Seems like it takes forever to finally get here, and then you blink your eyes, and it's gone for a year. I know. 
Christmas and New Year's. It's crazy. So tell me, do y'all make New Year's resolutions? I'd be interested in knowing how many people in our group make New Year's resolutions. I used to a long time ago, y'all, and I decided, you know what? If I make a New Year's resolution, it's almost like a ticket to not do it. <laughs> I'm not going to stick with it. I just don't. It's crazy. But it, I almost feel like inside it's like a rebellion. Like, mm -mm. no, since I made a resolution, I'm not going to keep it. You know, everybody says... Not everybody, but lots of people, you know, say, oh, my New Year's resolution is to lose weight. Every time I made that as a New Year's resolution, I think I gained. It was like, nah, I'm not going to put that pressure on myself. I think it's fine to set goals, but some people get so hung up on New Year's resolutions. Like, I made a resolution to do such and such. Now, one thing I have done in the past couple of years, although I'll be honest with you, I can't remember what it was for me this year, was I came up with a word for the year that I really wanted to concentrate on. One year I had joy, and um, one, what was one year I had, it wasn't an organization, but it was something like that. It was like my goal for the year was to, you know, do whatever this was. Um, I failed miserably. So I don't do resolutions. No, because I never, ser seriously, it's, it's just hard. That's just a hard thing to do. Plus, who came up with that anyway? Surely some young person came up with that. Not us older people. We wouldn't We wouldn't come up with something like that. We just do what we need to do or want to do when we need or want to do it, right? Okay, that needs to dry before I move it back and do the upper part. So let's dry it a little bit. I know y'all probably have not seen a thing I've been doing. In Tennessee, visitation is for anyone to come, anyone to come to funeral home and pay their respects. The family sits there from like 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. It's draining. In Chicago, it's called a wake, which is typically Catholic. Yes, that's what we do. I choose, chose a word and I already have my word for next year. You do, Veronica? You want to tell us what it is? Or is it a secret? Is it a secret till the new year? I see I got some brown and some white places, so it's okay. We'll just go back and I think I can actually wet a brush, a paintbrush, and remove where I messed up. Because apparently this metal had like a, a little bit of a finish on it or something. And then I'm going to do rub and buff around the bottom too. Rub and buff in the middle or on all those little ridges. And... And I'm going to show you how I did the bells. Miracle. That's right, Veronica. Good for you, sister. Veronica is claiming a miracle, and I'm claiming it right along with her, and we would like for you all to do the same. She would love to know that other people are praying for a miracle for her. And that's what we're going to ask for. My friend and I are doing pizza and treat bags for the homeless Christmas Eve. That's so sweet. So, so sweet. It always touches my heart when I hear people are doing anything to help the homeless out. It breaks my heart when I drive by and see so many homeless people in Nashville. And um, I want to help all of them, and I just can't. I do, I do what I can. I have, yep, this paint just comes right off y'all. I, um, there's a couple of people, well, one in particular, that sits over by my Walgreens, the Walgreens close to me. She's precious, and I have gotten to know her over the years, just, you know, just stopping by. She, they, they ha in Nashville, they have this newspaper, um, that, I think it's called The Contributor. And anybody who wants to, any of the homeless people can write articles for it, poetry, whatever. And then, I don't, I don't think they do it weekly. Well, maybe they do it weekly. I don't know. But then, um, you know, the ones who are vetted and, you know, approved to not just be somebody out peddling and stuff, um, uh, can sell the paper. 
and I think they usually ask two dollars for it. I always give them a lot more than that, and I tell them to keep the paper so because they get X amount to sell um, every day, and so I just tell them to keep the paper so it'll give them you know one more that they can sell. And um, she's actually originally from my hometown of Bowling Green, Kentucky, and um, she's just so sweet. Now she, last I heard, and I guess this is still true, she has an apartment, and at one time she had a vehicle. I don't know if she still does or not. Got Jewish is called she she bought yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I guess she still has um, her her apartment. Um, one time, I know she was having car trouble. She she would park it over by Walgreens since she sits right there on a little um, uh, railing thing um, to uh, for people to give her money. So um, she was having car trouble one day. I know. So um, I don't think you know she wouldn't be considered totally homeless, um, but she's just as sweet as can be and. Every time she sees me driving by and I wave, she says, Hey, baby. Just so sweet. I love her. So, um, what I was going to tell y'all was, I, I said something about my, I still have some um, grandchildren who, you know, believe in Santa Claus. Years ago, when they all four believed, I found this thing online called the Portable North Pole. I think I saw today when I was looking on there, I went all the way back to 2003. So that shows you how long I've been doing it. And you can go on and you can upload Shiva means seven for the days of morning. People say they are sitting Shiva. It's in a home and all the mirrors are covered in black fabric. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Um, so, what was I saying? I think that bleach is going to work on that shirt. That's so weird. Um, oh, so the Portable North Pole. So you can, up, there's different videos that they'll do. That he'll, Santa does. You know, he and Mrs. Claus are really cute. They look very authentic. Um, and so they, um, you can send in pictures of your child or grandchild. You can, um, Put in there um, what what they worked on this year, like you know, doing well in school or trying to go potty in the body or whatever you know, depending on their age. And um, and you put the child's name, and then you you can listen to it to make sure that he's pronouncing it right. And um, it's so cute. And then the ones that the two youngest ones are getting this year, um, he at one point in the video he calls them and um, talks to him. Oh, he, he doesn't communicate. He, he calls and he'll say, hello, can I speak to Kaya? And then Kaya will get on and say hello, and he'll go, hi, Kaya, this is Santa Claus. And then that's the end of the, you know, the child reacting. The, the child's just listening from that point on. It's really, really cute. Um, and so um, I had done it. For, I just put rubbing buff on my finger, and now I'm just going to go like over this edge right here that's sticking up. See? Um, and so one of them called me today. Apparently, they tried to FaceTime me this morning. <clears throat> I can go back and touch up with Brown here. I'm getting getting it on the Brown. Um, apparently, they tried to FaceTime me this morning to tell me that they had gotten their video, that Santa had sent them a video, because they don't, you know, they don't have a clue what my role is in it. <clears throat> and um, so they called, and I, I apparently didn't hear the phone ring. And so um, the youngest one called this afternoon. She was upset about something with her sister. This isn't doing too good on the white. I'm going to have to really clean up a lot. Um, she and her sister were playing in a neighbor's, and somehow she got left out or something. So she was inside with mama and um so they she said well let's call lolly and tell her about your video so um she called me and um she said guess what and i said what she said um i got a video today from santa like i do every year and i said you did she said yes and she said 
he even called while I was watching the video. Y'all, she was just just seeing her joy or hearing her joy was is priceless to me. And so I said, Oh, that's awesome. I said, So um, did he know what you wanted for Christmas? And she said, Yes. He he said he knew I wanted a car because she wants one of those battery powered cars she can drive. And um, so she said he knew I wanted a car. And she said, and guess what? She said he had this machine and um, the elves that were helping him. And, you know, the elves are like real people with, you know, all the gear on and stuff. Um, the, the elves built this machine. And so um, he spun this machine after he looked in my big book that he's had for so many years with all my friends' pictures in there and me. And um, he spun the machine, and the machine landed on, I've been good. I've been nice. So I made the nice list. Y'all, she was chomping at the bit. She's so excited. So, um, you know, and I, I asked my daughter, I said, so what about the other one? And she said, she's kind of in between. Like, you know, she wants to believe and she thinks she does believe, but then some of her friends don't believe. And they're like, Kaya, you know, you don't need to believe in all that. And so, um, you know, she she's kind of in between stages. So I, I suspect this will be the last year for her. But um, it's always brought me so much joy to watch them. Now, we went through a time where my son was not happy. Um, he, he said that it really, really upset him when he found out that um, all that was made up. And he just didn't like it that <clears throat> we were still letting the children believe. <clears throat> so, well, you're gonna have to get over your bad self because when you were little, you enjoyed believing too. And you know, he said, yeah, but you don't know, you know, what it's going to do to him. And I said, well, if it does anything to him, then it just does. But, um, you know, as long as they want to believe, then I'm going to let them believe. They'll find out soon enough. So, he didn't much like it, but that's okay. I said, when you have your children, you can do it differently if you want to, though I suspect he ever has children, he probably will go through the same situation. Because basically, I think we all pretty much do that. And I, I do know, um, you know, I, I know of a crafter who um, they decided early on that they were not going to do, do Santa with their children. And that's totally fine. I don't condemn anybody for that. I think it should be up to each family and each parent, you know, whether or not they want to do that. Hey, Sharon. Um, whether or not they want to do that or how long they want to, you know, let it keep going on. Um, but for those who do enjoy doing it and like it, I don't think they should be deprived of the, of the fun of that. <clears throat> they don't stay little very long. So, you know, my theory has always been while well, they're little and they want to believe in that, you know, we read them fairy tales and stuff and that stuff's not true either. But yet, nobody seems to have a problem with, you know, reading them fairy tales, though. I don't think they do that much in schools anymore. I sure did it when I taught school. My little three-year-olds heard all those fairy tales. So, I think a lot of that stuff we've lost, and I hate that for children. But, um, I think as long as they want to believe and their little minds are having fun doing that, then there's no harm in it. I still believe in Santa. I still get candy from Santa. That's good, Sharon. I mean, <clears throat> I got stuff for my husband to make sure he puts in my stocking for me because I don't want the children to go, well, how come y'all don't, y'all don't have stuff, you know? So, um, even though, I, you know, we don't hardly have anything in there for us, but I, I got Ronnie some of his favorite candy and some candy that I like and, you know, We'll put it in each other's stockings the night before so when the children get up the next day, they'll see that everybody's stocking has stuff in it. So Santa must have come. Okay, I'm just touching this up. I have got brown all over 
the white in some places from my hands, I'm sure. But since it rubs off so easily, that is not a problem. And since we're going to kind of rust this up or make it look rusty, then I'm not too concerned about making it perfect. My three-year-old granddaughter asked me today if I remember Jesus. Oh, sweet. That's so sweet. You said, of course I remember Jesus. Now that rubbing butt is not coming off. And since I didn't paint this white, I don't really have a white paint that's going to it's gonna match it. May have to make sure that part gets good and rusted. <laughs> so tell me what y'all are making for Christmas to eat. Yeah, I got that rubbing buff a lot of places down here on the white. It's okay. Ain't nothing but a thing. I, I have not watched The Chosen. I watched some trailers of The Chosen, several of them, but um, I've not watched The Chosen per se. No, I want to. Maybe that'll be a maybe that'll be a New Year's resolution for me. Early on in the year to watch The Chosen. I am reading a book by Dr. David Jeremiah right now, talking about the end times, and it is amazing. Um, it's called The Great Disappearance, I think. And um, I picked it up at Hobby Lobby, actually. I love him anyway. I, I have a Bible that he contributed to. It's my favorite Bible. And um, I love listening to him some on Sunday mornings. And um, he's a great teacher of Scripture. Um, and been doing it for a long, long time. And um, this book goes over what all is going to happen in the second coming and in the tribulation and in the rapture. It's exciting. When my mother was alive, we always got big bags of paper towel, Kleenex, and toilet paper from Santa. My one... Come on. My one sister was always excited to get all that all. Ham, cheesy potatoes, green bean, casserole, and coleslaw. Tell me what time to be there and I'll show up. Making lasagna, chicken ganache soup, salad, and garlic bread. Yum! Y'all are killing me. Some of that gold I put on there, I'm going to go over anyway when I get ready to rest it out. Yummy, yummy. Now, I will say this. I'm not a big lasagna fan. I'm not. I don't know why. I'm just not. Something about the noodles. I'm not a big um, tomato paste or tomato kind of person anyway. I don't love it. After making those thousand cookies last Sunday, we are going out to eat. I don't blame you. Love the bell. Are you cooking? I'm doing um, Christmas morning. I'm doing breakfast just, you know, for my family. Um, and let me think about how I want to do this. Actually, I'll just put that paint out. But I think what I'm going to use is Mod Podge and then sprinkle the um, cinnamon over the Mod Podge instead of add more paint. So let's try that. I think I'll use a sponge, which I have right here. Thanks. Um, and now I'm just cooking something to take to my sisters for that afternoon, but um, I've got a whole meal. Okay, so I'm going to take this sponge, and I'm just going to kind of dab um, Mod Podge on here. Quit ringing, bell. And some of it's going to be, uh, yeah, some of it is going to be thicker, Lisa. <laughs> Some of it's going to be thicker than others, uh, but that's how rust does, you know? Sometimes, some places the rust is um, thicker than other places. So we're just going to, uh, this is random. We're not, there's no pattern. There's no thought being put into this, um, which is probably why I like it because you don't have to think about it. Um, but I want some places to be thick and some places to be thinner. And then we'll just go in and add cinnamon. I know y'all can't see. I'm going to put you down. Sorry about that. Let me move this back. 
uh, I'm going to add cinnamon on here. I don't want it to look like um, the sponge marks, though. So, um, hopefully it'll all cover up. I should put some down on the bottom, too, around that gold part, as well as some more on the top. And this is kind of the way I'm going to show you the bells, too. Most of y'all probably seen me do that already. Okay, so let me push it back some since you're so close. Okay, now I'll take my cinnamon and just start sprinkling on the Mod Podge. Ooh, that's getting a lot out. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I thought I opened the other end. I opened the big fat end. Come on. There we go. No wonder I was getting so much. I had half a container out here just trying to do that little part right there. But you know what? I think I like it better because I think it comes out better. I can always pour the excess back in. I don't want to fight with it. Okay. On my bells, I'm actually going to use some um, blue paint, some turquoise paint to mix with the other paint, too, to make it look more patinaed. So this is not going to look very patinaed, but um, some places it's just too uniform. So let me kind of go back and dob some more blue on that because I don't want it to look like it. Like I used to sponge, you know what I'm saying? So I haven't added any more glue. I'm just been using what's on there. I think I hear my crew leaving to go for their spa party. It's going to be a rarity. I'm going to be here by myself for a while. Let's add a little more, and then we can pour the rest back in and start on our other little bells to show you how I'm going to do that. This kind of is clumpy. I've never seen cinnamon this clumpy before. I made lemon cheesecake cookies for my neighbor. Woo! That sounds good. I'm not a big lemon fan, but... Lemon cookies sound pretty good. Okay, so here we go. Right now, it's just kind of, just kind of there. It's got to dry. So I'm gonna set that to the side to let it dry. I'm going to try to get the cinnamon up back here in the plate. It smells so good. Cinnamon reminds me of Christmas. The smell of cinnamon. That and oranges. Every time I smell an orange, I think of Christmas. And you know why? I think it's because when we used to go to my aunt and uncle's house, and Rodney does this too, so I guess his family always did it. But when we used to go to my aunt and uncle's house in Kentucky, um, they would take oranges and cut a hole in the top and stick one of those long peppermint straight sticks down in the orange. And um, we would suck on the peppermint stick, and it would bring the um, orange juice up through the peppermint stick. So every time I smell an orange now, I'm like, oh my goodness, that smells like Christmas. Isn't that so funny, the things that bring back memories? Look what I did. I put the um, Mod Podge top on the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I surely did. And now I need to put the cinnamon top on. And I'll use the correct side this time. Okay, so here's what I do with the bells. I'm going to put a little bit of blue. This is Crystal Blue Deco Art Americana. I'm going to put a little bit of the Metallic Deco Art Copper Penny. 
and I'm going to put a little bit, if I can find what I did with it, burnt umber. Is this it? Yep, burnt umber. Deco Art Americana Burnt Umber. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this little, this is what I'm doing my, oh my gosh, y'all, here comes my son, my daughter, granddaughter's boyfriend. I wish y'all could see his truck. If they pull out in a minute, I'm going to turn y'all around so you can see it. It's ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to take, I think I'll just use this brush. I'll just use this brush. And I'm going to dip it in the brown, the burnt umber, the copper penny, and a little bit in the blue. And I'm just going to mix them up, and I'm going to pat, 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 tap, tap, tap. tap. Okay, no rhyme or reason. Just want to make sure that I get all the colors in there because you know when something patina, when metal patinas, it usually has that greenish, bluish color. So some places I'll put more of the blue. I'm not covering the whole thing. Some places I want, and, and I'm leaving it kind of thick in places too, because if you leave it thick, then when you put the cinnamon on it, the cinnamon stays thick, okay? So, that looks pretty good. Look at these bells on the bottom like snowflakes. Aren't they cute? All right, so let's get my, well, I'll be darn. I'll just use this plate. Um... Let's see, let me get just get another paper towel out. I'll put the cinnamon on the paper towel. And then I can pour it back in the cinnamon container. Okay. So now I'm gonna take my cinnamon and just pour over it. This is Dollar Tree cinnamon. Maybe that's why it's so different. It's so weird. Okay. Now see how that looks like it's old. I'm going to put a little more. Oh, they're not. They're going in my daughter's car, so y'all won't be able to see this truck. Um, I'm going to put a little more. Give it a little more dimension in here with more you know, thickness of the rust, because rust doesn't rust evenly. Add a little more of this. Shake it, shake it, shake it, baby. Now, see how that bell went from being bright and just solid brown to looking like it's rusty. See? Isn't that cool? So, let me slide this down a little bit. And then, we'll do another one. This one is shaped a little different. It's more like a regular bell. So we'll leave some of the dark brown showing on this one. I mean, the dark brown of the bell. And just start tapping. Again, this is like a mindless activity. But it's so satisfying when you get something that looks cool. And these, I'm, I'm not going to use this year because I'm done, you know, decorating for Christmas. So I'll save these till next year, and then I'll use them on some kind of project next year, and it'll just save me time. Just like I was talking about this morning, whether I should go on and decorate that tree that I told y'all about that the lights went out on. If I should, I, I was taking all the ornaments off. It's my travel tree, so every time I go out of town, um, I buy an ornament from wherever we went, unless it's someplace we already have one. And um, so the lights went out. Oh, they are leaving, y'all. Hold on. You won't be able to see as well this way, I don't think. Hold on. I'm going to try to tilt y'all up. Turn you. Okay. No, you're not going to be able to see as well. Because he won't be coming forward. But... Maybe you can see the lights on this. No, you can. He's got lights on top and everything. It is insane in the membrane, y'all. 
You can hear him coming a mile away. Crazy. Teenagers. Um, what was I saying? What was I talking about? I forgot. Oh, so the lights had gone out on that tree. And it's my travel tree. And so I started putting, I talk, asked Rodney to pick me up some yesterday. Because it's in my bedroom. And I like to see the lights. And uh, I said, will you get me some more lights for my tree? And he said, why would you do that when Christmas is almost over and you're going to be taking it down? First of all, that made me sad. He didn't need to say that. And um, secondly, I'm like, I want to enjoy my lights in my tree. And he said, I understand that, but why can't you just wait until next year to put new lights on? Just leave the ornaments on there, but wait till next year to put new lights on it. And I said, no. First of all, the kids are going to be sleeping in there tomorrow night. So, in the next night, probably the next few nights. So, I want them to be able to enjoy it. And secondly, I want to be able to enjoy it. So, I took all the ornaments off and put new lights on. He brought me a strand of a hundred lights. It's not a very big tree. It sits on a tabletop. And so I, I was like, just bring me some or, uh, some lights, please, and let me redecorate it. So that's what I did. And while I was in the process of doing that, I started kind of rearranging a few things in my room. There's really not much you can do to rearrange because everything pretty much has to stay where it is, the way the room is laid out. But um yeah, and so, so I put a thing on my, a post on my page, and I said, now, I want to know what y'all would do. Would y'all just go on and be organized and decorated, and, I mean, re do the lights now, or would you wait? And most everybody agreed with me. So, I'm going to show him that when he gets home. Let's do another one of these snowflake ones. And then, we may be calling it a day. All I see is the red shirt um the dark it's like dark red darker than it was before uh coming out from underneath where i bleached it so i don't know what's up with that i mean i use straight bleach this time and i've done that before i've i've done a lot of shirts the um flannel shirts that i've done with um with Oops, red color remover, which works really well. But I've used bleach before, and this doesn't seem to be doing too well, so I'm not sure what's happening. Maybe the material. But this is just a red sweatshirt from um, Walmart. So I would have thought that it would have done really well. The other one was kind of an army green, so... Um, it didn't surprise me, but that's what Barb was the one on the shabby tree that I saw doing it. And she had gotten t-shirts from Walmart and it had worked out fine. Well, yes. <laughs> Mary Lee, well, yes, of course. Duh. Y'all remember when we used to say it all the time? Duh. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stop with four. And I'm going to set these up and let them dry overnight prop them up on my little water container I got over here hope they don't fall off no no y'all stay up there hold on now you stay <laughs> listen to me talking to it um okay so I'm gonna pour this cinnamon back in and then I really I don't think I'm gonna take the stuff off the shirt tonight to show you since I've got it weighted down. I think it'd be better just to leave well enough alone. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then um, I'll show you one more time our Rusty Bell. It's okay. I'm not in love with it, but it's okay. I wouldn't call it a fail, but I wouldn't call it a favorite either. So, okay, you guys, here's the deal. I don't think I'll be on anymore until after Christmas because my family arrives tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon and I've got cooking to do so that we can leave on Saturday between now and then I got a lot of cleaning to do so I'll, I'll excuse me I'll make some posts but I don't think I'm gonna go live 
um, Christmas is on Monday, so I may go live Tuesday. May. Um, if not, I'll definitely go live by Thursday. So, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. But maybe before then, you never know. So, let me take this time to tell you how much I love you, each and every one of you. How much I appreciate you. Rodney and I both do. Um, and how much I want to wish you a very happy, merry, safe, healthy, blessed Christmas and all the best for 2024. You guys have a great night. Love you dearly. Bye.